The Warriors have produced a superb defensive effort, overcoming adversity to beat St. George Illawarra 20-12 in Auckland, handing the Dragons their first defeat of the NRL season. Looking to rebound from their own first loss of the year, the Warriors were without halfback Sean Johnson and centre Solomon Keita, both late withdrawals with injury. They lost Tohu Harris after 26 minutes on Friday night after the second rower collected a second knock to the head. They also had to battle a heavy penalty count and the sin binning of 5 8 Blake Green closed to halftime. But they put four tries on the Dragons, and restricted the competition's best attack to just two four-pointers. Warriors coach Stephen Carney hailed the tremendous courage of his players, there was everything in terms of the adversity that was chucked at the lads, he said, but to the boys' credit, they just showed a tremendous amount of courage against the top of the table side, they just found a way to keep them out and 12 men, it had it all, for the penalty count, which ended 13-5 against the Warriors, and often gave the game a stop-start flow when the Dragons attacked close to the line, Carney said the intention wasn't to infringe deliberately but it was important to try to put pressure on a team with a dangerous spine. Dragons coach Paul McGregor gave credit to the Warriors' defense, they obviously came here with a plan, they gave away a lot of penalties and defended their line well, he said, whether that was part of it, I'm not sure but, certainly, their line speed was incredible, their scrambling is the best I have seen from any team this year, McGregor said 3-1 on one misses led to Warriors' tries, while his players failed to capitalize on their chances, we had five opportunities we didn't finish, and they were good enough not to let us finish them, he said, kudos to them, they played too good, Johnson and Kata's replacement Mason Lino and Anthony Jelling, stepped up with first-half tries to give the home side a 10-0 halftime lead. The Warriors held out during Green's time in the bin until the final seconds, when halfback Ben Hunt stepped his way over the line. The home side looked to have made the game safe with 14 minutes to go as hooker Sikluk grabbed their third try. But Dragons forward Tarek Sims forced his way over for a converted try with 6 minutes to go to close the gap to 4 points. The Warriors came up with the match winner through Isaiah Papalia who scored as the clock ticked down.